hi everyone welcome to my class today in this class I'm gonna show you that how we replace any vowel characters of a string with some asterisk or with some other type of characters okay so let's begin with an example assume we have taken one string computer world as you can see here we have sample input we have taken computer world now in this computer world what are the vowel characters so as you can see the vowel characters are being selected so these vowel characters i am making it red color so these are the vowel characters so these vowel characters now has been replaced with the asterisks so all the vowels are replaced with the asterisks like these 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 and these so these all vowel characters are replaced with the asterisk symbol so this will be our the output only the vowel characters will be replaced with the asterisk or star or whatever any other type of character if you want with that particular character and the consonant or the any other type of characters like space or any other type of numbers or any special characters all will remain as it is only the vowels will be replaced with the asterisk okay so let's begin okay so there is a code for this program as you can see now i will explain it line by line okay so let's start so first of all just let's see here just one string type str variable i have taken here to store the entire value so this is the entire value computer world we i will explain it with this word computer world with this string so this string i have stored now in str assume i have taken the variable str okay now what to do first first whatever the user gives in input in any kind of cases i don't know we don't know we user can give in small letter or capital letter whatever but we have to stick within any particular any one of the cases either with the small letter or with the capital letter so that is why suppose i will explain it or i will do this program with the help of capital letter so that is why i have converted this into the upper case that is in capital letter so if user gives in small letter any character so that will be converting into the capital letter because at the time of vowel checking we have to stick with either with the capital letter or with the small letter okay otherwise that ch correct this uh, checking part will become little bit longer so that is why we have to go with either capital letter or small letter so here i have gone with the capital letter so that is why i have converted into the upper case this string and stored it to that same string variable that is str okay so str value has now changed into the upper case as you can see here like this okay and it has been stored into str variable now there's some uh, other some necessary variable i have declared and assigned here also like the length calculation automatically it is needed for almost all the string program as you know that that length calculation is required so i have find the length with the length method and stored into variable len and then for running the loop that is actually indicating the index of all the particular characters for that i have taken the variable i and the extraction of each and every character from the i position that uh, character type of ch variable i have taken that will help to store any character any particular character inside it and which main variable will take that is the result so result will store the main result result means that output the output of the program will store into the variable result okay initially the value of result is what blank empty simply void empty no value is there inside it okay let's start now we have starting the loop now we are going to start the loop so automatically loop will run from 0 to less than length so if the length is 14 so automatically the length of this full string is coming 14 so length is 14 so that is why less than length means the loop will run from 0 so i will 0 so it's from 0 to less than length so less than length means till 13 it will run okay so now suppose you think the value of i the value of i now you assume value of i is 0 so now it is starting with 0 so value of i is 0 okay very good no problem now what is happening ch equal to so ch is equal to what is the value coming here ch is equal to str dot caret of i so str of caret of i means from the i position i is what i is 0 i is 0 so 0 position is which one this is the 0 position so from this 0 position which character is extracting character c is extracting how it is extracting with the help of caret method i hope you know the function of caret method okay so caret method is extracting from the i position one character so what is the one character of the i position that is zero 
that is capital letter C. So, value of C H is now coming capital letter C. So, value of C H is C. Now, we are checking whether the value of C H which is C is equal to A or E or I or O or U. No, it is not equal to either A or E or I or O, o or U. So, that means this statement will not execute this statement result equal to result plus star will not execute. So, what will execute result equal to result plus C H. So, result equal to means whatever what was the value of result result value was at the beginning result value was empty. Now, with this empty value of C H is coming what is the value of C H value of C H is C capital letter C. So, here capital letter C is storing that is all. Now, next iteration i plus plus so bracket close this is the loop bracket loop brace so that means next iteration we have to go i plus plus so i plus plus means value of i now increased by 1 now it is 1 now again one position same thing that one position value is now extracting so one position value means what what is the one position value one position value is now o one position value is now o so ch is now not c ch value is now coming o ch is now capital letter o because now this is indicating. Now, again it is checking whether the value of C H which is actually O is equal to A E I O or U. Yes, it is equal to O, it is equal to O. So, that means now if part will execute that means this part will execute. So, this part is what result equal to result plus star. So, result value already was what already was C with this one star will add just with this one star will add means asterisk will add with the c over done now next again i plus plus so i plus plus means i will increase by one so i value is now two when i value is two again ch equal to str dot caret of i means of the i position which is now two i position is now two so from the two position from this position character is extracting so in the two position what is the character character is m. So, this m is extracting and storing into c h. Now, the value of c h is m. Now, the value of c h is capital letter m. Now, it is checking whether is it vowel or not. So, of course, with this full statement it is checking whether is it vowel or not. So, of course, m is not a vowel. So, this if part will not execute this part is executing. Now, in this part result equal to result plus c h. So, result was already c star with this C H is extract is C H is storing. So, C H value is what? M capital letter M. So, with the last value of C H eh, sorry result which was C star M is stored. Now, it is over. Now, move to the next iteration again in the next iteration I plus plus. So, I is now coming 3 in the 3 position. Now, in the 3 position with the help of this method the next character is extracting next character is what? Next character is three position character is what three position character is p three position character is capital letter p ok so in the three uh, three position that is capital letter p is extracting and storing into sorry and uh, storing into variable c h so now value of c h is coming capital letter p capital letter p now again it is checking whether this p is vowel or not so of course it is not a vowel so result equal to result plus star is not executing this line is executing okay so this line is executing means the value of result will be with the last value of result that is c star m then the next character next character means sorry ch character ch is what ch is p so p is storing so the, with the help of this the last value of p is storing uh, last value of ch that is p is storing so this is sorry capital letter p is storing now next iteration next iteration is sorry next iteration is uh, i plus plus now next iteration is coming 4 next iteration is coming now 4 so 4 position now which is the character now in the fourth position the character is what in the fourth position character is u now fourth position character is u so this is capital letter u capital letter u now it is checking whether is it vowel or not yes now u is the vowel now u is the vowel so that is why this statement will execute now this statement will execute due to u is the vowel it is present here so that is why with the last value of result so result equal to result plus means with the last value of result star is 
actually printing. So, star printing means with the last value of this that star is printed, star is printed over. Now, again i plus plus next iteration, next iteration means what 5, next iteration is 5. Now, 5 position value, so 5 position value is now what 5 position value is now t, t is the 5 position value. So, with the help of str dot caret of i that uh, t is now extracted, t is now extracted. Now, value of ch is t, value of ch is now t. Now, again checking whether t is vowel or not. So, of course, t is not a vowel. So, this statement is not executing again this statement executing. So, this statement executing means with the last value of result that is this one with this last value of result t will store. So, t is now storing, t has been stored. Okay. Now, again next iteration i plus plus. So, i value was 5 with the last, last value of i that is 5 after that it will increase by 1 and it is coming now 6. So, 6 means which letter is executing sorry uh, which uh, particular character is actually pointing that pointing e. So, pointing e means with the help of caret method that next character is extracting that is this e is extracting this e is extracting now the value of e uh, sorry the value of ch is now e now value of ch is capital letter e again now it is checking whether is it vowel or not now yes e is vowel so e is present here e is vowel so that means now e part will execute so this part will execute now again this part will execute so this part means with the last value of result so this is the last value of result with the last value of result now what will store one star will store because this asterisk so this asterisk is storing okay now over now again next iteration i plus plus so i plus plus means next iteration is coming 7 i is now 7 7 means now it is indicating what now it is indicate just a moment now it is indicating uh, 7 position so 7 position is what 7 position is r 7 position is r so r is extracting and storing into ch so ch value was e so it will replace with the new value of 7 index that is r so r is storing into ch now again checking whether r is uh, vowel or not no r is not a vowel so again this statement is not executing so else part is executing so in the else part with the last value of result that is this with this ch value is adding just concatenating so this plus means remember this plus or this plus means this is the concatenation this is using for the concatenation okay so now with this that uh, r is storing so r is storing here now again loop will executing by 1 that is coming now 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now from here to here also it will be executing in the same way from here to here it will executing on the same way if it is vowel then that star will add due to this statement will execute and if the character is not a vowel or any special character or space then this statement will not execute then this statement will execute and whatever is storing inside the ch variable after extracting from the i position that will be concatenating with the result value. So, on the same way, so that the rest of the part I am not explaining then the video will be little bit more longer. So, that is why I am not explaining. So, like in this way suppose if you take only computer suppose in case of only computer. So, now you see we have got the result suppose instead of computer world we have taken only the result only computer. So, in case of only computer if we take now you see we have got the our desired result we have got. <coughs> so, desired result is what? Desired result is C star M P star T star R. So, there are three vowels. What are the three vowels? O, this U and this E. So, this all vowels are replaced. So, O replaced with this star. Now, U is replaced with this star and this E replaced with this star and rest of the uh, characters, consonants or other characters it present is not replaced. So, as it is it remains C remains C, M remains M, P remains P, T remains T, R remains R that is all and after that after exit of the loop then we will display the value of result which is this one. So, result value will display. Okay. Now, if you want to take the full code of the program then you have to go to play store and download this app and the app link I have given in the description box so you can download from there 
and in that app you will get not only this program code but also some other programs code you will get some different types of other options are available also there like outputs solved 10, 10 years or also different sample question papers are there also so you can use it okay so thank you all of you bye